So, recently a person on my Discord server named Moon1789 showed me that you could get Debian 11 Bullseye running on the Raspberry Pi 4. So I thought that was pretty cool, so I downloaded the image, installed on my Raspberry Pi, and here I am. So in this video, we're going to be going over the desktop, and we're just going to be taking a look at Debian 11 on the Raspberry Pi 4. But before we start, I do want to mention this is beta. Anyway, Debian 11 has not been officially released, and this is just test images, so I wouldn't recommend using this as like a daily operating system this is just for testing purposes only but when you download the image from this website you're actually going to be welcomed with like a terminal and then you have to install the desktop environment that you like and i wanted lxde because that's basically the closest thing to raspberry pi os and i wanted to get the similar performance so i went ahead and installed lxde rather than xfce no kd any of those other ones but you could feel free and install any of those too so now let's jump in and see what we have on Debian 11. So let's go ahead and open up our terminal real fast. We have right here and I do want to mention I have changed the theme a little bit because I don't really like the theme. And anyway, I don't like it right now. I would still do a lot more theming to my desktop if I was to use this. But let's type NeoFetch. And right here we have the Debian logo. And as you see, this is Debian Genuine Linux Bullseye SID Arch 64. So this is Debian SID. So it's testing images. And I'm on a Raspberry Pi 4 8GB and it works without any problems. And I'm running at 1080p, LXD, OpenBox, and R these are all my themes. And this thing is really quick. It's super smooth. I mean, the desktop feels super great. Like, no problems at all. So that is basically my Neo Fetch, and let's take a look at HTOP before we do get started. So I forgot to install it, sudo app install. And since this is a 64-bit system, you're getting uh, taking advantage of all that 8 gigs of RAM on your Raspberry Pi 4. And I did have to add my user to sudo while installing, which I can leave a link to a guide on how to do that if you don't know how to. So let's type HTOP. And right here, right now, we are using 281 megabytes of RAM. So that is a, like not anything at all. Because LXDE is a super lightweight distro. It uses like no RAM at all while idle. And it's just super great for the Raspberry Pi because the Raspberry Pi is a lower powered single board computer. So we're using almost no RAM at all, which is kind of cool. So I would recommend just using like a more lightweight distro like LXDE, XFC, or anything like that. So that is the RAM usage basically. And now let's go over and just look at the desktop. So this is the default wallpaper that comes on here. We have the Debian logo and it looks pretty cool. We have our trash icon right here and then we have our LXD right here. We go over to accessories. We come with the disks. I'm not sure what disks is. It looks like GNOME disks. It comes with GNOME disks. And then we also have some other apps right here. We have mouse pad, image viewer, calculator screenshot and screenshot is pretty cool i didn't know lxc actually came with this it's pretty useful it's a nice screenshot manager and next off we actually do have some debian applications right here some network file transfer mathematics these are just the normal apps graphics document viewer internet we have firefox and deluge i installed chromium and chromium is in the app repositories so you don't have to use snap or anything like that in office we have document viewer sound and video system tools preferences are just some normal settings and that's about it for that part and then yeah so if we open up a file manager right here it's the same one that is used on raspberry pi os and it looks pretty cool it's just basic works well and that is about it for the applications. There's not that many because this is a lightweight distro like Raspberry Pi OS. So let's go over to web browsing and see what the performance is actually like. I'm going to go ahead and use Chromium because Chromium always works better on Debian based distros for me. At least in my opinion. So let's type in some Pi 4. I mean this thing is really smooth. Look at this. This is really good web browsing, really good web browsing. It's super smooth, super responsive. I mean, it's way better than the Ubuntu experience I was getting in my last video. So what did I do? There it is. So I mean, web browsing is you're gonna have no problem doing web browsing on this operating system. 
it's super smooth and super responsive. So next, let's go ahead and take a look at some YouTube performance, and then we'll go ahead and test out some different applications and see what's available for this distro. So here we are in YouTube, and let's go over and just look at Big Bug Bunny and see how bad their performance is, or how good it is, if it's good. So here we are in Big Bug Bunny, and we'll go a 720p video. We're at 480 right now, let's up that to 720, and then here we are in our video. So stats for nerds, skip to the mill right here where we have a bit more action. And this is dropping about three frames. So 720p video on this is pretty smooth. I mean, it's definitely one of the better distributions. It's smooth, watchable, and enjoyable because it's not stripping that many frames and it looks pretty well, honestly. So it's a good video playback. Definitely good video playback. So now I wanna test out like some apps that are available for Raspberry Pi OS, like Pi apps, PyKiss, let's see how those apps actually do work on this Debian 11. So let's go over to Pi apps and see if it actually works. We'll scroll down right here to install Pi apps. We'll copy this command. And we'll go over to our LXD icon right here. And we'll go over to Proof System Tools, LX Terminal. And we'll just paste that command right in there. And here we're gonna have, we don't have Wigit on our system. My bad, so we'll have to do sudo app install widget and type in my password. And then once that is installed, we can install Pi apps without any problem. Just type that in there. And here we are gonna have Pi apps on our Debian 11. So most apps should be compatible because Pi apps does have a 64 bit version that should work fairly fine on this. I mean, I don't know if it will or not, but we'll see. So here we are. It's almost done installing. And we are here. It's downloading Pi Apps right now. And here we are. We're done. We have Pi Apps installed. So let's launch Pi Apps and see how it actually works. Click on Pi Apps. Click Execute in Terminal. And here we have it. It looks pretty normal to me let's go over and try to install something like let's try let's go over to tools and see what we have here like let's try box 86 will that work on a 64-bit system i'm actually not sure type in my password and it's n there's some error right here so i'm not sure Box 86 probably doesn't work on 64-bit systems like that anyway. But let's say we want, let's go Bolena Etcher, click install. And it looks like it's grabbing Etcher for me. So Pi Apps looks pretty functional on this operating system. So that's a good sign because it looks like you can get most software that you'd want on Raspberry Pi OS, but you're just going to have that 64-bit system rather than a 32-bit system. So here we are, I mean, it's installing Etcher for me. And here we are, it says Etcher is successfully installed. So if we just close out of that guy right there, and we should have Etcher, I mean. Let's go right here, and it should be in System Tools, maybe, Sound and Video. Where should this guy be? Hmm. Accessories, I guess. Bolena Etcher is in Accessories, alright go right here to Bolana Etcher and so it looks like Pi Apps is functional look at that we have Etcher on our Debian 11 bullseye so looks like everything is compatible with 64-bit systems like this is there gonna be Raspberry Pi imager in the repos I doubt it but you could always download it from their website I'll leave a link to that in the description but we can always make sure real fast so we'll go to system tools LX terminal So RPI Imager is not in the repos, 
but to talk about my final thoughts about this operating system. So it's pretty cool that you can get Debian 11 running on your Raspberry Pi 4 even though it's not officially released and that this is not Raspberry Pi OS, it's pure Debian. So it's pretty cool and most apps are compatible that are compatible with, with Raspberry Pi OS so that's also a big plus. But I've had a pretty fun time playing around with this and yeah, so if you're inter interested in an installation guide, let me know down below and I'll try to pull one of those out too. But thank you for watching and let me know what you think about this.